we are going to install Vue.js and Vuetify in this session and then after that we'll be good to go. So let's start by creating a folder where we are going to keep our files for this particular uh, application or project. I'm going to call it machine learning machine underscore learning it's on the desktop let me now open visual studio code you either have an icon of visual studio code somewhere on your desktop or if you don't know where it was installed you can come to start you right click to get run and then in this dialog that opens type code then dash then put dot and enter it's going to open visual studio code for you uh, that's the easiest way to open uh, the next thing we are going to do is now open the folder or the director that we just created on our desktop so file open folder and go to desktop and look for machine learning then select folder so this is the folder where we'll be working from uh, let's start by checking whether node.js is installed well we'll be doing some of these actions using cli so we need to go to terminal and start learning how we can use it eh? let's first check whether we have node.js so we type node hyphen v for version so our node.js is working correctly here and we are using version 10.153 make sure you have the version that you're using is above 8.9 so that we are able to use view cli tools to install view cli tools uh, we need to do npm install hyphen g g for global so that you just install once so for future programs or for future projects you are going to be skipping this npm install hyphen g uh, then at view slash cli press enter and you are going to to have view cli tools installed i'm not going to press enter because i've already done that and this takes a little bit of uh, of time so if it's the first time you are doing it make sure you enter don't uh, delete like myself the next thing that you're going to do is now creating the view project and to do that we start with the view of course view create then the name of the project you can give it in any in name i can actually give it my name you can give it any name don't worry about that then press enter you will get a set of questions that you need to answer uh, to skip if you you want to change some of these things you can go to manually but i'm going to keep it at default uh, because i or the defaults uh, will work for me at this particular time uh, give it some time to install uh, the project as you can see the project is already showing here and it's going to install a few items here i'm going to take you through on what they are uh, so that at least you understand what we, why we are installing all these things in our computers maybe i can be explaining the the items on the left side as it installs so we have the folder that i've just created uh, the name francis and then these node modules for node.js node module for node.js there's also the public folder the public view friend you will find it has index.html this is the file that you, you will be seeing on the screen after we run our server through npm run serve favicon is the icon source this is where we'll be working from assets will will have static uh, static files like maybe our logo the images we are using on the website all that then our web site will have the components if i may open a window here like google 
the whole of this is a template and some of these things like this one is a component you'll find that somebody developed just this this small thing as a component or maybe this here is a component so components are embedded on templates to make uh, the application and then there's the main .js this is where our application starts from uh, we have git ignore if you are sending files to github uh, you need to put the file that you don't be uploaded in this git ignore so that you don't probably share some sensitive information online babel.config it allows us to use javascript features that are not currently supported by some browsers so it's, it's very handy for for us so that uh, in case some browsers like internet explorer are not uh, supporting what we developed using firefox or chrome uh, this will be setting up them up so that they are usable and there's also packing.json also with some dependencies this is just a, a file with instructions huh? so the first thing we need to do is go back to the folder that we 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 are working from francis from directory that we are running working from which is francis so cd francis uh, when you are here we are going to install the, the last plugin that we need to be able to start now doing the actual work of programming and this is a beautify plugin to help us have some standard icons standard uh, forms instead of us developing forms beautify will help us to have the very well designed and unique forms that you can reuse again and again so to do this we do view add view beautify view add beautify then after that i think we should be done if you go to beautify on your website on your left side there are some icons here that you can use uh, most of the time i'll be using this uh, ui components and they start uh, looking at uh, something like avatar uh, bottom navigation you've seen these features in most websites and you've wondered how people design them let me show you the, the one that will help you understand what i mean like what like a dialogue dialogue and if you click on this see there's a dialogue that comes this is part of beautify and that's why we are installing this instead of doing things manually this one will help a lot when we are we are developing so also open dialogue there are different types uh, disagree overflowed uh, form so these things have been done for us we have to set default let's see what happens it's installing dependencies give it some time and something like divider divider is just a line like this this footer you see if you're doing plain javascript you would be developing all this using html and css but somebody has gone ahead and developed for us so we don't need to worry about uh, uh, some basic things like all this when you want to run the website now now that we have installed everything uh, we'll be just be going npm run serve doing npm run serve and now we can start running the server and uh, give it some time loads our data after this we'll be able to see our website but we'll of course edit so that it meets our needs eh? so you can use either this or this to open the website control click that's our first website we are going now to be just adding features to this eh? let's close this and even this now we don't need it so the first thing that i'm going to do is to change the appearance of the navigation bar so we need to go to app here app.view and the app bar starts here and adds here everything you can see here is what is inside the app bar that is uh, the logo and this part that has the latest release here so let's uh 
make this flat and give it a color color equals primal and save so if you come here uh, now it's, it looks a bit nicer the next thing we can do is to remove this so that we keep uh, the template to the way we need it uh, but because this video was mainly meant to take you up to this far we're going to do that in another video in the future in the next video I'm going now to start demonstrating on how Vue.js works and also I am hoping that uh, after that I will be able to build an application that can save data uh, to Firebase so for you to get an update when I release the next video please subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video thank you